In general, solid-state relays are quite similar to the mechanical relays that have movable contacts. The main difference between both is the fact that there are no actual moving components in an SSR, just like the name suggests. Rather than relying on the physical contact moving to complete the circuit, solid-state relays employ optical semiconductor switching elements such as diodes, thristors, triacs, and transistors. Let's further explore these two typical relays and find out more about their differences. The basic parts of electromechanical relays include the coil, armature, and contacts. In these relays, electromechanical force is generated by the relay coil on the application of voltage. This force pulls the armature and closes the relay contacts. An attached spring returns the armature to its original position. The contacts are the conducting parts of the switch that makes or breaks a circuit. When the contacts make a connection, there is typically a click sound, which can be useful in some situations, though it can lead to internal arcing. SSRs do not have electromagnets or any moving contacts in it. Instead, it consists of an input circuit, an optocoupler, output driver circuits, and semiconductor switching devices such as triac and transistors. When the voltage is applied to the input section of the SSR, current flows through the optocoupler and triggers the semiconductor switch at the output section, and the switch starts conducting. SSRs have slowly overtaken EMRs as the most popular option thanks to their ease of use, low noise production, extra safety features, and long lifespan. The main downside of SSRs is that they produce a lot of heat and require heat sinks. Therefore, heat sinks are required for heat dissipation. While EMRs produce less heat than SSRs, they are noisy, erode during prolonged switching, can cause arc formations and voltage surges, and have a much shorter lifespan than SSRs, factors that ultimately make them the less versatile and less popular option. In addition, SSRs also outperform EMRs in several other areas. Let's compare the two. When should you use each type? Whether to use an EMR or SSR depends on a number of factors such as the application's environment, electrical requirements, and cost or budget. Solid-state relays can be used for applications requiring high-speed and frequent switching operations, applications in high-vibration environments, applications where the relay has to be located near sensitive automation components such as PLCs, HMIs and temperature controllers, applications in dusty or humid environments, applications in hazardous locations, such as the presence of fumes or gases. Electromechanical relays can be used for applications requiring a wide output range from the relay, applications using motors or transformers requiring high starting amps, applications where the initial installation budget is very limited, applications prone to current surges and voltage spikes. If you need solid-state relays, electromagnetic relays, as well as other popular relays, ATO can help. Our products are manufactured with quality and performance in mind and are guaranteed to meet various industrial applications which require a high level of reliability. If you need help choosing the ideal unit for your application or want to request a quote, contact us today.